Hey groupies, welcome back to Formal Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I am the channel's video producer. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out a new AOMG artist. This is Tubita. In Korean, it's pronounced Tubita. Uh, and the song is called Evita. No idea what to expect. Uh, but this is from uh, a new AOMG artist, a female artist, I believe. Now, before we get into this video, this video is brought to you by our Patreon, patreon.com slash form therapy. If you go there, you get early access to reaction videos like this and listening parties. And for a little bit more, you get live stage reactions, you get variety show, drama club. Uh, and we are doing live streams like this. That's right. This culture study reaction video is being filmed live. So if there are any issues, I'm sorry, we're testing out this new setup. But I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. Um, uh, yeah, anyways, let's get into this video. This is Evita by Tabita, and uh, this is your form of therapy. All right, let's check it out. Okay, hold on. Sounds like a 90s R&B pop beat. So far, so far. Yo, excuse me. She said a no no word. Ew. It got weird at the end. Yo. Okay. What the heck? That was incredible. Okay, so. The song itself reminds me of... It, it, it's a weird mashup of different genres. It sounds like... So the drum pattern sounds more hip-hop. 
uh, kind of remind me of like that really early 90s hip hop sound. But then the synth, like the, uh, first of all, the overall atmosphere has a bit of an 80s sound. But then the synth feels a little bit like Japanese city pop inspired. If you, if, if you listen to just the instrumental, it kind of sounds like city pop, but then the drum pattern, like the drum pattern, which that kind of drum pattern does not belong in city pop. When you put it together, the song is a lot slower and like the synth is kind of like more like fluctuating, but the drum pattern actually gives it more of like this, like a constant fast paced beat. And then you've got her voice kind of like, na 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 Like it's moving so fast and it's like, kind of like taking you on like a very fluid journey. Like it's such a weird cultural mashup. I really like it. <laughs> Someone in the chat said hip hop ID. That is a very interesting way to say that. Um, um, not only that, uh, her voice too. She has a very interesting voice. Someone in our chat says that she sounds like Rihanna. Uh, I kind of see it, but not really. Like, I kind of see it, but I wouldn't say that she's a one-to-one -one of Rihanna. But she, her voice is very velvety smooth. And it's also, she's kind of, it's a little bit husky, but it's still very, very smooth. She has a very husky voice. And, like, not a lot of women sing in that range and i really 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 like it um um someone says the sax sample reminds me of 70s disco funk music my dad listens to um you mean lo-fi study 24 7 yeah it has it has different <laughs> I gotta... <laughs> sorry i had to sneeze um, yeah, it has different influences running throughout this song. The music video is too, visually just gorgeous. Um, it's got a bit of a sort of a not necessarily a cyberpunk vibe, but you know that it's it's that kind of like very cheesy 90s Japanese dystopian future vibe, which... That's a lot of descriptors, I know. But you guys remember in the 90s, you know, like stuff like Akira, like the way people envisioned the future in the 90s. That's what this music video looks like, you know, like with like the with like the cheesy horizontal sunglasses um, uh, with the reflective silver material. It looks like that kind of inspired concept. But um, cyberpunk noir. Is that really... Is that really the genre? I Is that really a genre? But that's what it seems like to me. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed that, uh, DeVita. Retrofuturism. Are, are you just making up words? <laughs> Someone in the chat, um, Rock the Casbot, is saying cyberpunk noir retrofuturism. Um, but yeah, it has that kind of influence. I, I think it was really, really well produced, really, really well made, both in the visual and audio department. Um, Devita killing it. Uh, I'm very curious as to what she is going to be like as an artist, whether this was more like just a one-off thing or if this is her niche. Uh, I would really like an artist like this, honestly. Like, this was... This is like a cultural mashup of so many things I like, but nobody is doing it like this, and I would love it if she would do it like this. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for joining me for this episode of The Culture Study. I hope you enjoyed watching Evita by Davida with me here today. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you would like to support us, please leave a comment and let us know what you guys thought. But also, if you want to support us monetarily, join our Patreon, patreon.com slash formatherapy for as little as $2 a month. You get early access to videos like this and listening parties. For higher level tiers, you get live stages, variety shows, drama club, etc. and more. All the fun stuff is over there, but you don't have to support us monetarily. That's completely optional. If you want to support us for free, leave a like down below over here. Leave a comment. Again, let us know what you guys 
guys thought about the song about her debut uh, also if you're new go ahead and click subscribe over here be notified when we have a new video up by hitting that notification bell and go ahead and check out all our other videos over here and thank you guys for joining us i'll see you later